All right, so in this equation, I'm gonna be solving nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to start, my variable in this equation is x, which is what I'm gonna be solving for. And we can already tell that x is not gonna be a whole number because nine to the power of one is nine and nine to the power of two is 81. So we know that x is gonna be somewhere in between one and two. So we wanna find the exact value of x. So to do that, what I'm first gonna do is take the log on both sides. So I get log nine to the power of x is equal to log 36. And the reason I used logarithms for this is because they have a special property that states that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. So before, x was an exponent, and it was really, it's almost impossible to solve the equation just in the form x is. But now, we can move x to the front and make it equal to a whole number, and now it's much easier to solve for x. So now I get x times log 9 is equal to log 36. And now, obviously, we want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 9. So then these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, we aren't done yet because we want to find the exact value of x. So we don't want any logarithms in our solution. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite log of 36 as log of 9 times 4 because I just want to simplify log 36. And now I can use the property that states that if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 9 times 4. And we can say that a is 9 and b is 4. So this turns into log of a, which is 9, plus log of b, which is 4. And remember, I still have all of this over log 9. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c, and this is just using fraction properties. So I have log 9 plus log 4 over log 9, and I'm going to rewrite this as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Now, anything over itself equals 1. So log 9 and log 9 cancel out. And I get 1 plus log 4 over log 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify this by rewriting log 4 as log of 2 squared, because 4 is equal to 2 squared. And I'm going to do the same thing to log 9. I'm going to rewrite it as log of 3 squared. So now remember that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a, because I can move b to the front. So I'm going to be reusing this property on these two terms. So log 2 squared, I'm going to move the 2 to the front. And same with log 3 squared, I'm going to move the 2 to the front. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 times log 2 
over 2 times log 3. And now I can cancel out these 2's. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3. So now from here, log of 2 is equal to 0 0.3010, and log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771, meaning x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771, which is equal to 0 0.6309. So 1 plus 0 0.6309 is 1.6309. So this is my solution. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 88. So my only variable in this equation is x. So that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution, I'm going to first start by rewriting my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation is 8 to the power of x is equal to 88. Now I'm first going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log of 88. Now, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b. I can move this exponent b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. In this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 8 is equal to log 88. And the reason this property is so useful is be because before, x was an exponent. And for our equation, if x is 1, I get 8. If x is 2, I get 64. And if x is 3, I get 64 times 8, which is 512. And we want to find what value of x results in 88, which is somewhere in between 2 and 3. But we don't ex know exactly where because it's going to be a decimal. So we can't really find the exact value as x when x is in uh, exponent form. So this is why we can make it into a real term using this property, and now it's much simpler to solve for it. So now I have x times log 8 is equal to log 88. And I want to isolate x because that's what I'm solving for, so I'm going to get rid of this log 8 by dividing both sides by log 8. So now these two cancel out and I get x is equal to log 88 over log 8. Now log 88, I can rewrite this as log of 8 times 11. So I have log of 8 times 11 over log 8. And now another property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of a times 11 is going to equal log of a plus log of 11. And I have this over log of 8. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c, which is a simple fraction property. So log 8 plus log 11 over log 8, I can rewrite that as log 8 over log 8 
plus log 11 over log 8. Now, log 8 and log 8 cancel out to get 1. So I get 1 plus log 11 over log 8. So now, all that's left is to plug in the actual values of log 11 and log 8 and solve. So log 11 is equal to approximately 1.04 and log 8 is equal to approximately 0 0.90. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 1.04 over 0 0.90, which is equal to 1 plus 1.1 six, meaning x is equal to 2.16. So this is my answer.